They want it to be easy. They want it to be fast and easy. And they want to have control that it's going to the right person. Because sometimes when you leave some money on the pillow or even some money on the table, sometimes you're not really sure if it's going to the person you wanted to. I am joined by Adele Gutman, guest experience expert and host of the podcast, Get Great Guest Reviews, coming to us from Charleston, South Carolina, where they put mustard sauce on their barbecue. (laughs) Hello, Jason. Thank you so much for having me. I wouldn't know. I'm a vegetarian, so I can't Ah. tell you that. But I can tell you, I went to a wonderful uh, deli in downtown Charleston recently, and they had uh, they had hot dogs with um, that were vegetarian in addition to the regular ones with sauerkraut and mustard and all the wonderful things that I like on it. So it was a real treat. <laughs> there you go. Charleston well, it- is full of culinary adventures. Yes, yes, it is. Well, let's talk about digital tipping. Um, I mean, you're familiar with digital tipping, right? Absolutely. I use it myself when I'm traveling, and uh, I, I, I think it's just a, a, a wonderful way of, you know, chipping away in, in a small way, but chipping away at a problem that is uh, very serious in our industry today that people are leaving because they don't feel they're being paid enough. And uh, why wouldn't you make it easy for them to get a little extra money, especially when they deserve it because they gave great service. That's what hospitality should be about. Right. And a lot of them are asking for fewer hours too. So you're on the job, fewer hours during the week. And yeah, hourly wages are going up, but still it's so competitive. Um, I agree. I think uh, any chance for a little extra money in the pocket of your service employees is kind of a no brainer. Yeah, Because you're not just uh, comparing yourselves to other hotels or other hospitality businesses, but there are a lot of other things that um, kind, gracious, intelligent people can do that have more flexibility and, uh, and, and higher uh, pay and perhaps also higher benefits. So uh, I think a lot of people come to hospitality because it's something that makes them feel good. It makes them feel good to be in a beautiful, sparkling, clean hotel uh, that uh, where, where people are happy and are having maybe vacations or having exciting business experiences, are connecting to people they love and people who they're excited to meet. And we're bringing people together. Um, And everybody deserves a break and everybody deserves to feel like a VIP. And when you know you've made somebody happy, it's a really rewarding experience emotionally. But you also have to uh, pay the bills and, and, and actually paying the bills isn't enough. We need to be able to have some margin, uh, a little bit more than just to cover the basics because everybody needs to save, everybody needs to invest, and everyone needs to have a little bit of, of reserve to treat their family to a great vacation or some wonderful culinary experiences. So uh, it's so important that we do everything we can to make it easy for guests to give when they want to and for, and for our employees to receive, hopefully the whole thing. <laughs> right. Well, coming from your expertise, providing a guest experience worthy of a great review. I mean, what do you think the guests wants to experience when faced with the tipping situation? They want it to be easy. They want it to be fast and easy. And they want to have control that it's going to the right person. Because sometimes when you leave some money on the pillow or even some money on the table, 
sometimes you're not really sure if it's going to the person you wanted to. Even when you're uh, getting bags delivered to the room, when you, you, you come in with the car, uh, somebody takes your car, somebody takes the bags for, out of the car and gives it to someone uh, in, in the valet. And, and then you go and check in and, and go up to your room and sometimes it's somebody else that comes in. And what about all those other people who contributed to, to that experience? Um, I'm not sure how the apps do it, but I know I would love to be able to feel confident that I can give the person who took my car, the person who handled the bags from A to B, and then the person who handled the bags from B to C, not just the final person sometimes. I wonder, is there is there an app for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got more control when mm-hmm. you're digital tipping than cash because you, you, like you said, you leave cash on a pillow. <laughs> you don't know who's picking that cash up. Um, digital tipping, I mean, like a valet, you know, you can be, you can be pretty sure like almost a hundred percent that that is the guy that's going to get the tip. And, and it, it's always a, it's an entry point thing. So like a valet could have a business card with a QR code on it. And if you wanted to tip him, you just scan that QR code and you're going to tip that guy. When your screen comes up on your phone and it's instantaneous, um, it's probably going to have his name. You know, so you get a, you know, it's going to have the hotel logo and it's going to have that person's name, that valet's name. And you're going to have a lot higher comfort, um, you know, with housekeepers. Um, it's a little uh, un- more unclear, but still it's not leaving cash on a, on a, uh, on a pillow where two or three people could come in and you, you don't know who's going to really end up with it. Um, yeah. But that, that's a good point. Um, also, also yeah. if you're cleaning the room and let's say you you stay for a few days, which is very typical for me, I'll stay for a few days and I'll only tip when I'm leaving because I really haven't had anybody uh, come in and service the room during that time. I, I don't need that. I don't make my bed. Uh, I don't do my, uh, you know, linens every day. I don't need something. You're, you're not messy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. I, I, I want to make sure that maybe the person who, who made the room perfect for me when I arrived is as deserving as the person who can, comes in after, right? right. So um, maybe more so. So it would really be nice to be able to have more control. And also just sometimes you're go, you're, you have all these bags and, and you're like, honey, uh, do you have a 10 or do you have a five? And we're all looking for something. Uh, it's just so much easier to just do it after. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. And, uh, and you can send a post stay email to a guest with a link. If you would like to tip your housekeeper. Um, and, and, and again, it, it provides so much more control and comfort to a guest, I think. Um, now, what about, and this has come up uh, internally with uh, UTIP, and it's come up with some of our clients and, and others that I'm beginning to speak with, that there's now an opportunity, um, like you can tip with UTIP, it'll, and, and it'll show you um, confirmation in the next screen you get, uh, you can rate your experience. So, so now you're getting into your world. Yeah. Um, you can rate your experience and leave a comment. I mean, what do you think about something like that? Well, I, I think that's fantastic. And uh, I think if people realize that um, up front, they may be even more inclined because, first of all, you might have something to say, but you may really want to say to the general manager or the owner of that business, um, you know, this, this guy really went above and beyond for me, or, 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 you know, you might say sometimes, you know, he was very pleasant, was able to answer my questions, da, 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 da. or maybe would say, you know, uh, 
He did everything he needed to do. He wasn't able to answer a few of my questions. Maybe you could train your team a little bit on that. You know, sometimes I might have a suggestion for them, me being me. <laughs> but um, I think that that's, that's a fantastic way to do it. I, I think that feedback um, is important regardless of how it comes in. I think sometimes some businesses think that only online reviews matter, but actually you should be, you know, have equanimity to, or, and, and, and to be agnostic to, let's say, whatever it is that is coming in and how it's coming in. It could be, you could be getting feedback through an employee that some employee heard something from the guest and then they're sending it to you, or you're getting an email or you're getting a chat box comment, or you're getting an online review, or you're just hearing it, you know, from, from a tool like this. Uh, all of that feedback is an opportunity for creativity and innovation and problem solving. And if you want to have, you know, we had 96.1% uh, uh, GRI, which is the uh, Global Review Index, uh, the highest guest satisfaction in the world at the company I was at. And believe me, it didn't come overnight. It came from constantly, constantly taking in information and thinking, how is this an opportunity for me to improve? Just a little bit, a very small thing. Uh, very often you have people talking about creativity and innovation, thinking that every uh, you should look at a big semantic analysis report and then decide the one important thing that you can fix this year. Well, I, I totally disagree with that. I think that the magic is in the tiny little details that you're learning along the way. And it doesn't cost anything and it hardly takes any time to fix small problems. And that's what really makes your guest uh, uh, review scores and I guess satisfaction scores and your loyalty rise. Yep. It's very powerful. Yep. It's always such a treat to talk with you, Adele. <laughs> Is there, is, is there anything you wanted to cover that we didn't cover? Oh, well, I, I definitely wanted to say, you know, I, I happened to see um, a McKinsey and company report that said 41% of people leave because of looking for career advancement. Um, you know, having, having that focus on the, on, the on the employee is so important. And 36% because of inadequate compensation. You know, why, why would you not do everything you can, especially in this particular case, it's not coming from your pocket. Should you do both, increase the wages and give them guidance and, and support as to how to grow their career and give them a way of getting tipped for guests that want to give them money? Uh, you should definitely do that. Uh, you need to have all, uh, all the engines working in order to really make a major impact in the hospitality industry. Get all the engines working. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining me, Adele. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting me, Jason. You bet.